Hi, Mr. Davey, and welcome to FAM, the online edition that is our Fine Art Makers program, where we like to explore the history and style of an artist and then try to put our own spin on it, try to replicate it ourselves. Um, and today, Mick Shea has found us a very, very interesting um, artist um, by the name of Abraham El Salah. Um, he is a Sudanese artist who was born in 1930, um, and he currently lives and works in Oxford, England. Um, he combines painting and drawing and often uses motifs from African, Arab, and Islamic arts as well as Western references. And I gotta say, um, I love his use of color. There's just something amazing about it. I just, I like, especially in this piece, there's just something about it that the colors and the shapes of the figures really just speak out to me. Uh, same thing with this one. I love the use of the browns and the reds in, in this piece. Um, it, it's amazing. And of course, I love this one because it's a paneled piece and I'm a huge fan of doing paneled art, um, as you saw in some of the other episodes of FAM where I actually do that. Um, so, um, uh, Elsa also spent a number of years working for governments. Um, he began by establishing the Sudanese Embassy's first ever Department of Culture and then worked for the Ministry of Information in Qatar. Uh, in between these roles, um, Ibram, sorry, Ibram uh, spent just over six months wrongly imprisoned without a trial in the Sudan. Um, and the hardship uh, he endured there had really influenced his art. And that's sort of what we're gonna be focusing on today, which is how he made art um, while in prison. Because um, I, I find it absolutely fascinating, um, which we'll talk a little bit more about when we actually start doing uh, the art. Um, he is still alive, uh, like like I said earlier, um, and still making art. Um, he helped form the. Oh, here's another hard one for me to try to pronounce. Um, Khartoum uh, School um, of Art. Uh, he was one of the founders of that, which mixes the. One second here, which mixes um, oh, sorry, the Islamic, African, Arab, and Western influences into it, into a, into that style. Um, so the Tate, and I love this quote from the Tate uh, Gallery. Um, the Tate Modern Gallery first retrospective exhibit of a contemporary artist from Africa in 2013, El Sahar, uh, worked. Work was characterized as a new Sudanese visual vocabulary, which arose from his own pioneering, pioneering integration of Islam, Islamic, African, Arab, and Western artistic traditions. Um, and I just love the idea of a visual vocabulary. I, this is such a an amazing. I don't know. I just the, the concept just blows my mind um, because I mean, art. You know can be a vocabulary. It can make you feel things. It can make you see things. Um, it can speak to you. Uh, art is a language all its own. And, you know, it just doesn't have to be, you know, drawn, painted. I mean, it can be photographed. It Because you, you may have heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. It's just, it's amazing. Um, and especially in this piece here, I love the fact it's so textured. You can see the canvas. You can see the paint. Um, it's just, it's just. There's a, there's a, there's a tactile. Uh, so, uh, you can see the tactile um, piece or portions of this piece. I mean, of course, you wouldn't be able to touch it, but you can just, you can just imagine what this feels like. You know, you can see the rough, the coarseness in it, and then you know, other times it's so smooth, and like this. Um, Cause, and I, oh, I should be talking about this while, while we're doing the the art. But this, when I was looking at it closer, um, even these panels up close, it almost feels like a real sort of pen and ink sort of technique, but with like using paint. So I mean, he says he doesn't see the difference between drawing and painting. They're sort of the same thing. Um, so he basically draws with paint. Um, so what are we gonna need today? So we are gonna need um, paper, and you're gonna need multiple sheets of paper. Um, and then you can use like a crayon, a pen, a marker, whatever you want to draw with. Because we're going to start with one piece 
and then grow the picture that we're drawing piece by piece. And you'll get a sense of what we're doing um, once I uh, start making the piece uh, that I'm gonna do today. So go ahead, pause the video, gather your supplies, and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, and welcome back to FAM. So you might have your paper. I'm gonna actually uh, do our today on some index cards, uh, just because I figured it would be a lot easier to sort of show you what we're trying to accomplish here. So when Ibram was in jail, um, you know, if he had been caught, you know, making art with a pencil, half paper in, in, a, in a cell, he would have gotten into a lot of trouble. So what he did is he would take an, uh, a piece of paper, usually really small, draw something on it, bury it, and then when he had a chance, he would unbury it, and then decide where to add onto his, his drawing and sort of grow it from there. So that's just sort of what we're gonna do today. So I, I figured if I did it on a little note card, it would be a bit easier to sort of show the growth of, of, the, of the image of the picture. I'm gonna stick with sort of more of abstract shapes so you get a sense of what um, we're doing here. So it's like you're gonna wanna draw on your, on your first piece of paper and then, then add a piece of paper to whatever size you want to continue the drawing on. So, uh, let me get started here. Um, so it, it, it's a really interesting idea of how to create and make art, because um, you just really don't know where, where, what's gonna happen, what's gonna ha where it's gonna go. And I kinda like that idea. It's, it's very organic, very fluid. It almost has a life of its own. Um, so it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a neat way of, uh, creating art. And I've always been a f big, been a big fan of the panel art where I could take a few different panels, um, pieces of paper to create an image that goes across several panels. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, And I'm just kind of making shapes. I'm doing this kind of fast, just so you can kind of see what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, so I've drawn some lines, some shapes on here. Um, and now I have to look at this and decide how do I want to grow my piece? So I'm gonna grow it like this. Do I want to grow it up this way, this way. So I really have to, you know, kind of think about it. Um, and I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna do something a little different that with each panel, I'm going to take another color um, in, order to, in order to create. So I'm doing my best to keep this lined up. And let's see, so I'm going to continue that there, and then Kind of just having some fun here. So we're growing the piece. And I'm doing it, like I said, on the small scale to make it a little bit easier uh, to show you as it grows. And now I gotta decide which way I wanna grow it now. Um, let's go this direction. And I'll change my color again.
Uh, let's... It's kind of fun, you know, because I'm not really trying to think of what I'm going to do um, on potentially the next piece. Um, I'm just kind of growing it and deciding where I want to go next. Because um, it would kind of be easy to go right here. But, you know, I kind of want to go down here. Let me scoot this up. Because it's kind of fun just kind of going in just different directions, different ways. Um, I want to do some blue here. But it's kind of like we're, we're growing the picture. Uh, we're growing our image. Um, it's really kind of fun. It's growing our picture. Okay. So you kind of see what we're doing. We're growing our picture piece by piece, panel by panel. Um, and then when you're done, you know, you can kind of separate it out a little or you can have it together. It's really up to you um, how you want to present your piece after you're done. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing here, you know. Um, this is the only way in which uh, Abraham was able to create art while he was in um, prison. And it's, it's a really fascinating idea of the sort of organic nature. Because, I mean, he would only be able to draw like one piece and then it would take, you know, it might be hours later, days later, when he could go back and can continue his art. Um, so it's a really fascinating process and really a different way of looking at how a painting, a piece of art can grow with, um, in, a, in a very unique way. So like always, I can't wait to see what you create. Please post them in the comments below. Um, and like always, if there's a artist or a style you want to see us to try to tackle, please let us know. It's, it's fun, you know, getting a chance to, you know, look at art from other cultures, artists from other nationalities, because um, it just it just adds a unique perspective in showing you know how art is made across the world. Um, so until next time, um, everybody out there, keep making art. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.